happy Sunday, friends. Most times, different people preach different things on what helps one to become rich. And in some cases, preach to help themselves or their congregations. Some say it is by paying tithes. Then you ask yourself, what about the rich people that don't pay tithes and are not even Christian, not even from Christian countries? Now, let's look at the Word of God and learn the that the art of making wealth has the following three components in it, though not limited to them. I got to know these facts recently and they have been uh, very, very helpful to me and I would like to share. Number one is working. If you want to be rich, if you want to make money, if you want to be okay, if you want to be wealthy, if you want to have money and wealth in abundance, you have to be hard working. Some people call it smart work this time around because there are many ways of working. You can be on the internet as a software developer. Uh, you can be freelancing, giving uh, several uh, kinds of jobs, even helping people, assisting people online, and you'll be making a whole lot of money. So you have to work. And we are going to see the verse of the Bible that says you have to work. <laughs> you have to. And as you're doing this work, you have to be a Christian. You must have given your life to Christ. And as we can see in the case of Isaac very soon. Now, number two, you have to believe that it is God that giveth the power to make work. That you're working or that you're intelligent or that you're doing so much does not necessarily mean that you're going to be worthy or make well. You have to believe that it's God that giveth thee the power to make well. Because when you believe this, that's when you have to seek first the kingdom of God and know that that is how wealth comes. And very important, the Lord, if you do all this, the Lord will restore you. No matter the situation you find yourself in now, even if you're hungry now, the Lord is going to restore you. And you're going to become wealthy. But when you become wealthy, you have to praise Him because you know that it is He that gives you the power to make wealth. Uh, May the Spirit of the Lord help us understand His words through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. So the topic for today is wealth in abundance. And now let's get into it. Okay, so let's look at some verses in the scripture that uh, portrays the three points that I just mentioned. Number one is Genesis 26 uh, from verse 12 to 13. And it says, Then Isaac sowed that in that land, Isaac sold. Isaac had to sow. There was work. Some people will tell you that it's paying tight or you know that. Isaac sold in that land. What? And received in the same year an hundredfold. And the Lord blessed him. And the man waxed great and went forward and grew until he became great, until he became wealthy, until he became powerful. So you have to sow. And it is Lord, the Lord that will bless you. So you have to seek him so that he can bless you. Now let's look at Deuteronomy 8, uh, 18. And he say, But thou shalt remember the Lord thy God, for it is he that giveth thee power to get wealth, that he may establish his covenant, which he swear unto thy fathers as it is in the day. So you can see the first point is talking about working. The second one is talking about you. Remembering that it is the Lord that giveth thee the power to make way. I can see them in these two points here. Working smart, hard. Why being a Christian? Very, very important. Then believing it is the Lord that giveth thee power. Okay. So let's read through and see this. Um, the third point. Okay. And we can check this out in Joel chapter 2 from verse 24 to 26. And it says, and the floors shall be full of wheat, and the vats shall overflow with wine and oil. And I will restore to you the years that the locusts have eaten, the canker worm, the caterpillar, and the palm worm, my great army which I send among you. And ye shall eat in plenty and be satisfied. And praise the name of the Lord. That had dealt with wondrously with you, and my people shall never be ashamed. So once you're doing this, 
And once you start seeking him, he's going to restore to you those years that you've lost. So no matter the situation you find yourself in, what it takes for you is to just seek him. Seek him. Get spiritual. Seek righteousness. Seek the kingdom. Don't feel that you, you've lost so much over the years. Because once you seek him, he's going to restore even those things you've lost. And you're going to feel good about it. I say, okay, to do more, we're going to read these various uh, passages. I'm going to open my Bible now. Let's check out Leviticus chapter 26 from verse 1 to 3. And I read, Ye shall make you no idols, no graven image, neither wear up a standing image, neither shall ye set up any image of stone in your land. So bow down unto him, for I am the Lord your God. <laughs> you have to seek him, him alone. Don't go to Juju or Babalao to get money. Don't make him that he will give you money. Go to him. Ye shall keep my servants and reverence my sanctuary. I am the Lord. If ye walk in my status and keep my commandments and do them. If ye walk, if you will keep the Lord's commandments. Look at what he will do for you. Then I will give you rain in due season. So once you seek him and keep his commandment, he will give you rain in due season. And the land shall yield for her increase. And the land shall yield. That is how you get wealth. And the trees of the field shall yield their fruit. <laughs> Everything you do will prosper. And your threshing shall reach unto the vintage. And the vintage shall reach unto the sowing time. And ye shall eat your bread to the full, and dwell in your land safely. So you don't just get wealth, but you're going to be safe. <laughs> okay, that is uh, Leviticus chapter 26 from verses 1 to 5. So let's check out uh, Deuteronomy chapter 28, uh, from uh, chapter 28, verse 7 and verse 12. So I'm going to read verse 12 actually. Is, is so important. You can also read verse 7 and 4. So, uh, Deuteronomy uh, chapter 28, verse 12. And it says, The Lord shall open unto thee his good treasure. Yeah, he's going to open unto thee, you that have seeked him, his good treasure, the heaven to give thee, to give the rain unto thy land in his season. So, it's going to Give the rain unto your land in his season. And to bless all the work of thy hand. <laughs> so anything that you do, the Lord is going to bless. So you mustn't be a software developer to be rich. You mustn't be a teacher. You mustn't be uh, anything you do that is decent. You get rich. Because the Lord will bless all the work of thy hand. And thou shalt lend unto many nations, and thou shalt not borrow. So you're going to lend unto many nations. And you shall not. That is abundance. That is wealth. That is wealth, abundance. When you can lend unto many nations, and thou shalt not borrow. Okay. So uh, to uh, wrap this up, I'm going to read Isaiah chapter 43, verse 19. Isaiah chapter 43, by uh, verse 19 and he says behold i will do a new thing now it shall spring forth so the lord is going to do a new thing for you you that is listening to me now and you're ready to seek him and now it, it shall spring forth so it's not it's not promising you a future if you seek him now you're going to start uh, uh, enjoying and benefiting from uh, this, this scripture and he said behold I will do a new thing now it shall spring forth shall ye not know it I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert so no matter the uh, condition you find yourself the Lord said there he's going to make a way in the wilderness he's going to provide water in the desert so it doesn't matter your financial conditions now just seek him Seek him. Seek righteousness. Seek first the kingdom of God and every other thing shall be added to you.
Okay, please, um, if you have other views to what uh, that we are discussing, please drop them in the comment section. Uh, remain blessed till I meet you again. Please, you can share this uh, word so that uh, your friends can see them and benefit from them. Thank you and God bless you.